Hey Ford, I saw in one of your videos that A1C is not a good test for diabetes. Can you explain a little bit more why? Just go ask 10 doctors how they test for diabetes. Nine or 10 out of 10 are going to say A1C. But that's not the best test. And it's not just me saying it. The American Association of Clinical Endocrinologists, they agree too. This is not the best test. And here's why. It's also a hemoglobin test. It's also known as hemoglobin A1C, or some of the tech guys, you may have heard it called the glycated hemoglobin. It's how much glucose is on your, your hemoglobin in your cells. It gives you a great average for the past three months of your blood sugar levels, assuming your hemoglobin is not being impacted by genetics, pregnancy, liver disease, kidney disease. There's just too many things that can impact hemoglobin. That's why it's not the best test. Let me give you an example. You know Jesus, the, the channel manager, the doc that appears with me on the lives? He had a hemoglobin A1C of 4.2 at a time when he showed that he had significant prediabetes. 4.2 is an extremely low level, and everybody would have said, oh, you're fine. So don't use A1C to diagnose this problem.